So this is the frame for the vent in the bedroom that sits on top of the roof. This will put the vent higher than the roof itself so it's not sitting flat on the roof. And this is the TPO material that I'll be using to cover this. So this has all been pre-measured and pre-cut out. We're using scraps from the uh, roofing that we had done. I originally started gluing this and found that it really wasn't working well, so it went right to staples. The top will have the is going to have the um, it's going to have the vent right on it, so it doesn't matter. That's a um, upholstery stapler. So now, since this is so thick, it's kind of hard to keep it down, so I have these clamps. And, uh, a little extra oomph. All right, so it's like a Christmas present. I'm gonna wrap this around. Do the same thing, we'll just put a staple right there. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll bring this down. But this We'll use the heat gun and we will seal that. Just for the purpose of showing you, it's really not the way to do it. That is now heat welded. No moisture is getting in there. So I'll do the same for the other sides and then uh, I'll tune you back in once I get the uh, four sides done and then we'll do the top, the drip edge. Alright, now we did the two sides. These sides have a fold over. I went ahead and I heated this up a little bit just to close up that seam. So no moisture gets in. And now we'll do these sides. So these sides are cut a little differently. They don't have the fold over. All they have is a flap. So essentially it'll kind of go over like that. And again, I'm going to use the staple gun. I'll get it nice and square. here is we'll, adhe we'll heat well the TPO to this port part and then we'll do the same thing down this edge and then when we get down to here we'll heat well this part to that and then we have a circle that will weld on the corner to close up that seam and if any water gets in that I quit that's, uh, that's about the extent of my ability to stop water from getting in this camper. So I'm going to go ahead and use my clamps. Give me that nice hedge I need. Because this stuff is thick. Okay. Alright, I'm going to need to trim this off a little bit. I'm going to heat weld away. Rather it be a little long than short. 
can always take off, you can't put it back on, right? Heat weld that up, and I think I just heat welded a piece of plastic over there. Awesome. Intentional heat weld. Let it let it warm up. My vast experience of about an hour of heat welding. It's not impossible. I've seen it on the internet. People do a much cleaner job than I do. I end up with a little rough spots because I put the heat on there a little too long. But the end result is there's no way moisture is getting through that because once you heat weld these two parts together, they become one piece much better than an adhesive, much better than any other way I've seen. So that's why I went through all the trouble to do all this. Um, and now I'm just going to heat weld this portion of this portion. And I'm going to trim this piece a little bit. Right there. Give me a nice place to eat well there. So let me heat well that up and then the other corners will be just the same. Alright, so there it is. 